gentlemen and thank you for joining us uh, the American Legion in Berwick uh, and the American Legion from North Berwick in our celebration annual celebration of Memorial Day at this time the chaplain for post 79 will provide the invocation uncover as our nation pauses today to remember those in the military who have given their lives for freedom. We enjoy, we pray you would have us all look to you for their lives for freedom and joy. We pray for you would have us all look to you for strength, comfort, and guidance. Be with all who serve in our armed forces. Bless them and their families Grant their loving protection. Let peace prevail among all the nations, O oh God. Especially let your mercy rest upon our land, even as we acknowledge with thanksgiving your post-past goodness on this country. 
Gracious God, on this Memorial Day, we pray for those who courageously laid down their lives for the cause of freedom. May the examples of their sacrifice inspire in us the selfish love of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Bless the families of our fallen troops and fill their homes and their lives with your strength and peace. In union with people of goodwill of every nation, embolden us to answer the call to work for peace and justice, and thus speak, seek an end to violence and conflict around the globe. We ask this through your name. Amen. Come up! At this time, a legionnaire Buckman will escort auxiliary member Chandler for the laying of the memorial wreath. Order! Come! Firing party! Salute the dead! Parade! Attend! Hut! Present! Come! At this time, Chaplain Lapierre will offer benediction. Uncover! Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we ask thy blessings may be bestowed on our friends and loved ones. We thank thee for this opportunity to share with them this special occasion to honor our veterans on this Memorial Day. Let us always honor the memory of those brave soldiers who gave the supreme sacrifice so those of us may experience freedom in a country that is free. Heavenly Father, keep their families in your kind care. Bless them and comfort them in their time of sorrow. Let us be reminded of life, liberty, justice, freedom, and democracy that we may be even grateful to you for those comrades who gave so much for this country. We ask thy blessings upon this service, and as we depart, grant upon us thy continued fellowship that makes abiding peace. Amen. Come on! That completes our service here at the uh, Veterans Memorial Park. The parade will now regroup and proceed to Sullivan Square.
decorate the water. Thank you, Matt. As we gather this morning on the nation's most solemn holiday, let us pause just for a moment to remember and pay tribute to those who left this small main town in the service of their country, never to return and only to sleep in hallowed ground at home and at sea. Revolutionary War. James Abbott, Jr. James Butler. William Davis. James Earl, Abel Getchell, Henry Hansen, James Knox, Simeon Lord Jr., Moses Spencer, Civil War. Elbridge Colomy, George Frost, George Gowell, Ivory Gupto, Francis Hurd, Samuel Knox, William Knox, 
William Lord, Hiram Merrill, Festus Porter, Joseph Roberts, Sylvester Roberts, Ivory Stillings, James Thompson, Isaac Tibbetts, Albert Walker, World War One. Charles S. Hatch, Ernest Horn, Paul Hussey, Roland Pratt, World War II, Forrest Bassett, Robert Burgess, Ralph Clark, Richard Day, Robert Goodwin, Leon Hartford, Marcel LaJoy, Robert Matthews, George Ricker, Louis Safferson, Francis Staples, Robert Tibbetts, Korea, James D. Malloy, Vietnam, James Dufault, John W. Knight. At this time, Chaplain Chambers of the Burwick Fire Department will provide the invocation. Uncover! Our gracious Heavenly Father, we come here to remember and to honor those that gave all, all forms of service that has been bestrayed upon every person here. We listen to the, all of the names that were just read and we ask that your loving, caring arms would wrap around the families that are here or away. Give us the strength and the ability to protect this country day in and day out. Your scripture says, where two or more are gathered in your name, so shall you be. So we're asking that you be here with comforting, strengthening, and the words of all a savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And it's in your precious name that I pray. Amen. Come on. Thank you, Chaplain Chambers. At this time, the memorial wreath will be placed. Legionnaire Buckman will escort Auxiliary Member Chandler to the Civil War Monument. Firing party, salute the dead, present palms. Half right face. Ready, load. Aim, fire. Ready, load. Aim, fire. Ready, load. Aim, fire. Preset, hold.
Parade! Press! Our guest speaker this morning is retired Chief Warrant Officer Stephen M. Moody, U.S. Army. Warrant Officer Moody is a native of New Hampshire who served in Germany, Iraq during the Operation Iraqi Freedom, and his last assignment prior to retirement was Director of the Department of Defense Combat Feeding Program at the U.S. Army Soldier Center in Natick, Mass. His award include the Legion of Merit, the Defense Meritorious Service Medal, the Army Meritorious Service Medal, the Army Commendation Medal, the Army Achievement Medal, and the Navy Marine Corps Commendation. Plus, he has the Expert Field Medical Badge. Warren Officer Moody served this country for 24 years. Chief. Thank you, Sergeant Major. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and honored veterans, we gather here on this sacred day to pay tribute to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice to our nation. It's a day to remember and honor the selfless acts of courage displayed by our fallen warfighters and to recognize the profound impact of their sacrifice. Like many other terms, the words shared sacrifice have been co-opted by modern culture, but the historical echo of those words reminds us of the profound bond that exists between those who fought and those who stood steadfastly beside them and behind them. Our fallen heroes gave their lives and we rightly and proudly honor their duty. But they did not serve alone. Their comrades in arms who braved the battle with them as well as their families endured sleepless nights and prayed fervently for their safe return. It's a heavy burden that military families carry, a burden of uncertainty, fear, and separation. Every missed birthday or anniversary, every missed first step or graduation are suffered sorrowfully, but not grudgingly. Each missed milestone exacts payment for the selfless service of those who willingly chose to defend our nation and our freedom. They say goodbye to their loved ones, not knowing if it will be the last time they embrace, the last time they'll see their smile, or hear the sound of their laughter. Parents and spouses hold their breath with every phone call, hoping it's not the one delivering devastating news. They wait, they pray, they support each other, and they stand strong. Today, we gather not only to honor the warfighters who made the ultimate sacrifice, but also to remember the families left behind. We acknowledge the countless nights of silent tears, the birthdays and holidays spent without their loved ones, the milestones celebrated with bittersweet joy, and the strength it took to rebuild their lives after unimaginable loss. Their sacrifice, their resilience, and their unwavering support embody the true spirit of Memorial Day. It's in their quiet strength that we find solace and inspiration, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there's a glimmer of hope and unity. As we gather together today to pay tribute to our fallen heroes, we must also address a somber reality, one that weighs heavily on our hearts. It's a reality that calls us to recognize the deep wounds carried by those veterans who return home with invisible scars, battling inner demons that often go unseen. We stand here today not only to honor those who gave their lives on the battlefield, but also to acknowledge the pain endured by those who survived the perils of war, only to face a different kind of battle upon their return. The battle for their own well-being their own peace of mind. Sadly, in the aftermath of their service, some veterans find themselves grappling with wounds that cannot be seen, a profound burden of emotional and psychological trauma that haunts them. The pain they carry within can be overwhelming, 
their silent struggles often misunderstood or unrecognized by a society that may not comprehend the magnitude of their sacrifice. It's with a heavy heart that we acknowledge the staggering statistics, the devastating reality that far too many of our heroes, overwhelmed by their internal anguish, succumb to the darkness that plagues their minds. The loss of their lives is as, as a painful reminder that war's battles extend far beyond the battleground, seeping into the deepest recesses of the human spirit. Today, we gather not only to remember those who have fallen on the battlefield, but also to extend a compassionate hand to our veterans who continue to fight a different kind of battle, the battle for their own survival. We must confront the uncomfortable truth that the wounds they bear, both seen and unseen, demand our attention, our empathy, and our unwavering support. To those veterans who carry the heavy weight of emotional injury, I want you to know that you are not alone. We see your pain, and we stand united in our commitment to help you heal. It's our duty as a grateful nation to provide you with the care and resources you need to ensure that you find solace, understanding, and renewed hope. On this solemn day, let's remember not only the fallen, but also those whose battles continue long after the guns have fallen silent. Let us honor their struggles, their resilience, and their unwavering spirit, and may we renew our commitment to provide support, understanding, and the care they need to reclaim their lives and find peace. Together, let's stand united, advocating for the well-being of our veterans to ensure that those invisible, yet very real injuries are not fatal. Let's ensure that no warrior who returns home feels abandoned or forgotten. I pray that as a nation we would do a better job of recognizing the invisible wounds borne by our heroes and work tirelessly to provide them with the care and love they so richly deserve. And yes, today, as we have for over 150 years, we honor and remember the fallen heroes who died in selfless service to our nation to protect freedom and liberty for all of us. Those who gave their lives, who gave their all to protect the God-given rights of others. Our fallen heroes fought not only for the ideals upon this great nation was built, but also for the very essence of what it means to be free. They stood for what's right, to defend the values we hold dear, to secure the freedom we cherish, and to protect their brothers and sisters in uniform. There's no greater love than when a person lays down their life for their friends. Today is a time to reflect on their bravery, valor, and selfless service, that of the men and women who fought and died for our nation. We gather together as a community because as a community, we are also part of that shared sacrifice. Their loss resonates in the villages, towns, and cities they called home. These were those who stood up for what was right, who cared for the well-being of others more than themselves. The loss of these brave souls leaves an indelible mark on the communities they left behind. The terrible civil war that was a catalyst for this day had a staggering impact. Of the more than 30,000 Mainers who served in the Union Army and Navy, almost a third died as a result of the war. The 5th New Hampshire Regiment left Concord with 1,200 men. When they returned from Gettysburg, there were only 380. And while the casualty rates for the many subsequent wars and conflicts have not been as staggering, every one of our fallen heroes has a legacy, a legacy of courage, resilience, and dedication that inspires us to honor their loss by holding firmly to the principles for which they fought and died. Duty, honor, country. As we gather here today, honoring the names of those we've lost, let's especially remember the heaviest burden of that loss falls upon those who shared in that sacrifice. The families who mourn the loss of their loved ones, the loss of their smiles, their laughter, their dreams, the comrades who fought by their sides, and the communities to which these lost guardians of freedom will never return. Let's pledge to live our lives in a way that honors their sacrifice, 
and their memory by cherishing the liberties they fought to preserve, by embracing the values that bind us together, and by caring for those they left behind. On this Memorial Day, let's stand together and pledge to forever honor the fallen, support their families, and uplift those who continue to fight. Let's remember their shared sacrifice and remind future generations that the price that was paid for their freedom and liberty was a grave one. Thank you, and may God bless our fallen heroes, their families, and the United States of America. Thank you, Warren Officer Moody, for an outstanding presentation. At this time, Comrade Brian English, the commander of the post, and auxiliary, and also Legionnaire Jolie McIntyre, will raise the national colors. What a God. Present Hall. Parade, Tinch, Hut, present Hall. Huh. Order! Huh! Parade! Press! I'd like to take a moment to thank the people that make this happen before we conclude our service for today. I'd like to thank the members of the American Legion Post 87, Color Guard, and our Post 79 Color Guard and Auxiliary. I'd like to thank Band Dir Director Kayla Beard and the Noble High School Band. I'd like to thank Elsa Christensen for playing taps and Avery Fektu for singing the National Anthem and Band Director Jenny Chung and the Noble Middle High School Band, our local Boy Scouts, the Burrick Police Department, Fire Department Chaplain Joe Chambers, and Post Chaplain Paul Lapierre for providing the invocations and the benediction. I'd like to also thank Karen Chambers and our wreath layers, Andy Buckman, who escorted her and driver. I'd like to thank Jeremy Stevens and the North Burrick Honor Center for providing a car for our use. I'd like to thank Terry Wright and Ralph Morang and the Burrick Community Media Team for recording today's commemoration. Also want to thank Chief Town and our Berwick Police Department for traffic control and coordination. And also want to thank Chief Dennis Plant and our Fire Department for their participation and support. <clears throat> Last but not least, thank our guest speaker, Stephen Moody, for his stirring and patriotic keynote address. And now we're gonna do the national anthem. Okay. She's, okay. she's right here. We will now have a rendition of the national anthem. What a God. Ten, up, hey, up, ten, up. Present, huh. Present, huh. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, who trod stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the
Thank you. Parade rest. At this time, the benediction will be given by Fire Department Chaplain Chambers. Uncover. Our gracious Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for everybody that participated today. And we're so thankful for all that gave all. We are so blessed in this country to be served by so many. And as we go forward today and we leave this place, help us to remember each and every person that gave even just a little but mostly those that gave it all. And it's in Jesus' precious name that I pray. Amen. Amen. Come on. Thank you, Chaplain. <clears throat> that concludes our ceremony this morning in the square here in Berwick. Again, many thanks for coming out and sharing with us this most solemn holiday. Thank you. Parade. Tench. Hut. Dismissed.